Hi everyone, Shirtline here. In some of my previous videos, I did mention that the Gundam vs games have a consumable recharging power-up that's often listed as either the Burst Gauge or the Awaken Gauge. This time, we'll be taking a closer look at the Awaken types in Rango vs F2 for the PS2. To give you a short recap, these power-ups are based on a recharging gauge that fills up as you deal and receive damage over the span of the round. You can activate it whenever the gauge is filled up past the halfway point by pressing the R3 button or the trio of square, triangle and cross. The more you fill it up before activation, the longer it lasts. When activated, the power-up only stops when the gauge runs out or when your unit is destroyed. It also lets you take out of combos and cancel some attack animations. Anyways, now that you're caught up, let's cut straight to the chase. They come in three flavors. Orange, apple and blueberry. Just like shaved ice. The orange one is cold power. It ups your damage by 75%, you become hard to stagger or flinch, but you will become slightly slower. A lot of people don't use it because it isn't as versatile as the others, but it goes well with some specific units and playstyles. The apple flavor is the rush. As long as it's active, you'll fire faster, regenerate ammo quickly, it lets you freestyle melee combos, and lastly, you also receive less damage. It's the second most popular one, and it goes well with a lot of units, regardless of your own skill level. If you ever don't know what awaken type to pick for a specific one, just pick this one. The blueberry one is called speed. Make all the drug related jokes you can, I ain't gonna stop ya. It truly is something that single handedly turns your seed destiny unit into a speed destiny unit. Obviously it makes you faster, and the boost gauge refills faster as well. However, what makes it truly stand out are two things. First of all, infinite ground stepping in case you want to briefly become a speeding blur. Secondly, you get attack cancels via boost steps and boost dashes, which turns you into a beast in terms of melee. The ranged side of things is powered up as well, though you will remain limited by how fast your ammo replenishes. It is the most popular pick for a reason after all. Funny is, different flavors go well with different mobile suits. For example, if you have low ammo pools and a weaker melee, no amount of step and dash cancels will fix that. At the same time, you should also be somewhat mindful of the fact that activating this power-up reloads your ammo and refills your boost, gets you back on your feet instantly if you're knocked down, and most importantly of all, it also doubles as a cancel for a lot of moves when activated. This of course is a useful thing for both combos and catching people off guard. To sum it up, the Awaken mechanic in Rango vs F2 is an extremely versatile mechanic that can supplement your playstyle if used right. Definitely something that's worth labbing if you're into that. I definitely am, but that's just me. Anywho, if you've enjoyed this video, you're more than free to let me know about the stuff below the video, including the comment section. That was a brief guide to the Awaken types in Rango vs F2, and this is Shirtlands, signing out.